I was just taking a quick look at another tiny solar generator. This is the Anchor Solix C200. C200 DC specifically. So now you might you might think that you might be confusing this with the C300 DC model. These are two different models here, and we're going to go through the differences in this video. Now, the thing that they do share in common is the DC part. So there's no AC inverter on either one of these models. Now, Anchor does sell a C300 with an inverter. So that's why they call this the DC model. But Anchor does not sell a C200 with an inverter. But I guess, you know, just to be extra clear here, you know, there's no inverter on this, so they do still call it the DC. And, you know, when we talk about DC, <laughs> we're really talking about USB. That's all this thing has. This doesn't have any 12 volt. It's all USB. Now, the USB is very good specs. So it's, you know, high power, fast USB. But if you want 12 volts, then you're going to have to go for the C300 DC. As you can see, they do give you the, you know, the typical car socket. And you do get an extra USB port as well thrown in there for good measure. And you get a light. You get a light as well. And actually, you know what? I want to talk about that right now because it's a really cool light. It actually pops up. You know? So when, the, you know, when you're not using the light, this thing is flush. And it will actually look quite similar to this DC200 model. Although... This is a little bit larger, isn't it? As you can imagine, it's about two pounds heavier and it's about an inch wider this way. So it's very, you know, it's still very small, very lightweight for a solar generator. It's about 6.2 pounds. But if you really want something to be as portable and as lightweight as possible, that's the appeal here with the 200 model. This thing's only 4.2 pounds. And guess what? It's got LFP batteries. It's got LFP batteries. So uh, you might say, well, you know, how much capacity does it have? It has, <laughs> it has 60,000 milliamp hours. You know, massive, a massive amount. <laughs> this is why I just hate this milliamp hour crap and even amp hour crap. You know, it's, it's an irrelevant number. It's, a, it's an irrelevant metric if you don't know what the voltage of the battery is. Do you? You don't, what is the voltage of the battery in this thing? You don't know. Who knows? So 60,000 milliamp hours could be anything, right? What do you want to know? You want to know the watt hours because that'll, that'll tell you how many, you know, how many watts you can pull. It doesn't matter what the battery is. So this thing actually, it's 192 watt hours. Yeah. So for four, for about four pounds, 192 watt hours LFP. LFP for about four pounds. So this is, you know, this is small. This is lightweight. It's so small, in fact, that they say, you know, you can just throw it over your shoulder with this shoulder strap, no problem. And, you know, that, that would be great. <laughs> that would be great if they actually gave it to you, if they included it. But as usual, right down here, no, you don't get it. You don't get the strap included. So sorry, sorry about that. We're going to advertise it with the strap. But you're going to have to pay more. You're going to have to pay extra for that strap if you want it. And by the way, you know, what else? What else doesn't this thing come with? It doesn't come with any charging cables right here. The second line right there. It does not include a charger, car charging cable, solar charging cable, or the strap. <laughs> Basically, it doesn't come with anything. So if you want to charge this thing up, you've got a couple of different options here. You know, as long as you have your own charging cable and way of charging it. The first one is actually this USB, USB-C port, high power, 140 watts, bi-directional, in or out. So, you know, that would be nice. That would be nice. Or this is kind of the thing that makes this, you know, a solar generator. Is there's a proper XT60 MPPT solar input on this thing up to 28 volts. So 28 volts, and they're saying you can actually input up to 100 watts. So if you hook up a 100-watt solar panel, you're not going to get 100 watts. You know, you might get 70. 
So can you over panel it? I don't know. Some of these Inca products, they throw errors if you try to over panel it too much. Maybe, maybe a 120 watt panel would work and that, that would get you close to 100 watts of actual input. So hopefully, you know, that would work. Now on the other model here, the 300, it's basically the same story, except that you actually get two of those bi-directional 140 watt inputs. And then the solar, the MPPT solar is actually the same. It's the same spec. So that's where actually, you know, this is, this 200 model is actually pretty good. For again, you know, 192 watt hours, LFP batteries, only four pounds. And to be able to put, you know, 100 watts of solar into this thing, you know, via a proper MPPT input, it's really cool, you know, it's really cool, isn't it? And one thing you want to note is if you, because you might have some Anchor solar panels and you might think, well, I'll just use that, you know, with this, with this new Anchor C200DC. Well, you might want to, <laughs> you might want to read the fine, fine print here because they're saying it doesn't work with the Solex PS30. It doesn't work with that one. You know, if you want a solar panel to work with this, they're saying, you know, we're just using a 60 watt panel in this picture. <laughs> so no, you can't use our panel. You can't use our own panel. You just have to use a panel. Any, basically any other brand's panel will work. Ours won't. Now the reason of course is because that PS30 panel that Anchor sells, it only outputs five volts. So you can see here that you actually need to have at least nine volts for this USB-C charging. And both of these models do support the Anchor app. So that's the same, you know, so, you know, ultimately, you know, how do you choose one of these? Well, I mean, honestly, unless, unless you really want something to be as light and compact as possible, I think it's going to be worth going for the 300 model just because it's only $30 more at the time of this video. And you get this awesome light, you know, you get the awesome light and you get that 12 volt outlet, the car socket as well, don't you? It's a hard decision, but these are both, you know, you can say, well, these are both really cool products. These little mini solar generators. So let me know, yeah, let me know which one you guys would go for. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.